Don't you worry that. Since the 1990s, skateboarding popularity has increased on campuses. However, this has caused a problem for local enforcement in regards to vandalism, property destruction, and quiet hour enforcement. One of the main problems is, are students aware of the skateboarding policy on campus? I have no idea what the policy is. I do not. Um, not too well, although I got stopped today by a cop telling me I can't skate on the streets. Was it 10? 10? No. Yeah, there's a, there's a time you're not supposed to be able to skate, and when you're skating, you're not allowed to let your board leave the ground. That's ridiculous. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, ignorance is bliss. I just kind of play stupid. I know where we're not supposed to go, but I don't know. I just kind of, I'm not really sure 100%, but I know we're not supposed to skate in some areas. Many students seem to have confusion about the policy or don't know what it is at all. However, found in the Plume State University Student Handbook, the policy states the following. Skaters must be in compliance with all town and state ordinances. On academic days, they can skate between 4.30 and 8 p.m. And on non-academic days, between 8.30 a.m. and 11 p.m. They must be on paved surfaces. They are not allowed in any building and must be used to ensure safety of all people. To find out where skaters could not skate, we met up with Sergeant Michael Clark of the University Police Department. Uh, on tables and benches, railings, fences, walls, stairways, rampways, grass, gardens, parking lots, curbing, in any area that can interfere with a right or safe passage, or which creates excessive noise or may potentially cause damage to property. You know, we're spending hours a day out there trying to catch people on skateboards, no. And the bottom line is that when people are using skateboards and other recreational devices in accordance with the policy, going back and forth to classes and stuff like that, and doing it safely, there's no problem with it. It's ridiculous that the cops are way too aggressive about it because everyone's just trying to have a good time. And it's the truth, though. They're doing what they love, and the school should encourage that. And if they don't like them skating on campus, then they should really enforce a skate park. A skate park would seem to solve the problem, but is that something the PSU would be willing to do? Many years ago, when skateboarding started to really become um, a, a popular thing, with people. We had a lot of problems with skateboarding and that segued into the town having a skateboarding ordinance and then eventually we had to um, work in conjunction with the town um, recreation department. We put a half pipe down at the PE center and it was there for several years and that did cut down on the amount of damage town-wide, not just on campus, but uh, it did give uh, boarders a place to go and, uh, and recreate. Unfortunately, uh, over the years, it, it deteriorated and, you know, nobody wanted to pony up the money to repair it. And of course, there's liability issues. So when violators are caught, what kind of consequences do they face? They're usually taking the boards or referring them for, uh, you know, give them a written warning or taking information if it happens again, then you'd have to go before the judicial. But for the most part, if you catch somebody doing something that's outside of the policy and you stop and talk to them, most of them are very respectful and they, they understand that. But does skateboarding increase, decrease, or have no effect on property defacement such as this? I do think that there's some vandalism involved, although not deliberate, because grinding things like uh, benches and stuff, that leaves wax residue and it, it kind of scuffs it up a bit, but beyond that I don't think it's too bad. Certainly damage to the benches and rails and curbings and that kind of thing can definitely be attributed to misuse of the skateboards. I believe that um, skateboarding has nothing to do with that. Not deliberate vandalism by any means. But as long as skaters remain safe, UPD doesn't seem to be too worried about the issue. I think it's, uh, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, people enjoy skateboarding. It's, it's a good recreational activity, and as long as it's done um, with some respect for pedestrians and for property, I don't think anybody has a problem with it. It's just that when it does become destructive and unsafe, then somebody has to step in. And... Regardless of confusion on the policy, there doesn't seem to be that much abuse of it by local skaters. I'm Sean Dunphy, reporting for the clock. You and I, you and I.